AP CRAM Calculus AB Free Response Exam Review Flashcard 3 Definite Integral on a Graphing Calculator The TI-89 Model So in an effort to input an integrand, when I say integrand, I mean the equation that's going to be in integrated, you have to first press F3 on your um, TI-89 model and if you're using a TI-83, a TI-84, or the other types of graphing calculators, such as a Casio, the names for the functions might not be exactly the same, but all the buttons are pretty parallel to each other. Each individual model has its own idiosyncrasy, so just try to follow along and you'll kind of get the gist for your own model in case you're not using a TI-89 titanium, okay? And so what that will do is it'll highlight the pop-up menu for F3 Calc. The Calc stands for Calculus. All right, so after we press the F3 key, this drop-down menu is going to appear on the screen. Option 1 is Differentiate. We see option 2 is Integrate. And options 3 through 8, and then there's some more, are um, proceed as you travel down so you can just I'll just stop for a second and you can look at some of the other functions but remember our function of interest for these deck of cards is to integrate okay so after we hit the number two to select option two this pops up on the screen it's our integral sign and an open parentheses we're now going to input our integrand after the integral sign and open parentheses and then write a comma. In this case, we input x squared, x, then a caret, and then the number 2 denotes x squared. Okay. So after writing the integrand or the equation that's going to be integrated, you insert a comma as previously shown. And then you write the variable of integration, which in this case is going to be x. It's the same thing as writing the integral of x squared dx, okay? So this x corresponds to the x after the d or the derivative um, symbol, all right? So after inputting the variable of integration, if you want to find the indefinite integral, without an upper lim a lower limit and an upper limit um, for the bounds of integration, you would just close off the parentheses and hit enter, the enter button, and then it would give you the answer or the antiderivative of x squared dx, which is x to the third power over three, okay? And to be completely right in writing your answer on paper, you would have to add plus C to indicate that there could be a constant that accompanies this, all right, since we're solving for the indefinite integral. In the event that you want to find the definite integral or a definite integral for this integrand, when I say integrand, again, I mean the equation of integration, all you have to do is input your lower limit which in this case is zero. So put your cursor back inside the parentheses at a comma after the x, a variable of integration, and write out your lower limit, and then another comma in your upper limit, which in this case is going to be four, okay? Now what you would do is go ahead and hit enter on your um, TI-89 calculator key, keyboard I mean, and then you're given the definite integral answer, which is 64 over three, okay? Between the bounds of zero and four for x squared dx, all right? Notice it's the calculator set to radian mode, and these are two out of 30 answers that you can display at one time under the, this F3 calculus screen, okay?